like another terrorist event. Truck land field crap here in Portland. Right at Portland State University. We got rolling individuals down. We got law enforcement on the scene. Just pray for these victims. At least three on the ground. right here in the red actually witnessed it saw the vehicle got his plate tell that she was breathing but she seemed like she wasn't there, there was absolutely she just looked very, very oblivious I think she might have just been in some kind of shock or something uh, I'm, I'm not entirely sure on, uh, on what her state was though I'm, of course. but they, they looked pretty scraped up and it looked really bad and uh, it was brutal the um, the report just came out that it was a blue Mazda yeah um, and that they, they got the license plate too. There was a guy standing right over here on the sidewalk that uh, actually got, it was wearing, a guy wearing a red shirt and he caught a, caught a picture of the car right after it happened. I think it's absolutely awful. I think the fact that it was a hit and run in the first place uh, is, uh, it's absolutely astonishing. I don't know, I look at that as very much so like a, a forceful, attack on somebody to plow through them like that right. granted it wasn't with a gun or anything it they still intended to hurt somebody or were trying to get away from somebody and not caring about the you know the humanity of somebody else and right. so uh, I think it's, it's just as bad on the scene here at Southwest 6 and Montgomery, where as Dan was saying, he heard from his witness account as well as our witness account earlier in the day that there was a driver behind the wheel of a blue SUV. And what we know, it sounds like hit at least three people before taking off northbound here on Montgomery. We'll, we'll peel away here. This is a live look at the scene. You can still see a lot of investigators with both police and fire still on scene here. And just behind a couple of those guys there, we see a pair of shoes and some clothing, it appears like they're on the sidewalk. Now, as I was saying earlier, before we had some audio issues, we could hear the sirens from the coin tower, not too far from where this scene is. And within five or so minutes of getting on the scene, it, you could see people visibly upset uh, talking with officers, giving them those witness statements. Uh, we tried to grab a few of those witnesses, but they were just too shaken up to chat with us. Now, the woman that we did speak with earlier says she was just minding her business here, walking about. Again, this is a pretty popular, uh, populated rather area where a lot of people are coming and going this time of day, students coming and going from class. And she says it appeared that they were students crossing from the west side here on Montgomery to the east side to that kind of a commons area on campus when this SUV, the driver of that SUV, uh, plowed into them. Again, still unclear if this is uh, intentional or unintentional, a medical episode. We do tend to see that, but again, 
certainly a scene of uh, chaos and confusion as uh, detectives, investigators try to sort through things and piece everything here together. Uh, now we do see a lot of people still out here on scene with um, not, uh, not detectives or anybody with police or fire. So we're going to try to chat with a few of those folks to see what they may have seen or what they may have heard to get a better idea of what happened. Now, the uh, Portland Police PIO just arrived here on scene. He's now speaking with uh, some of his uh, guys. So we'll try to uh, grab him here uh, at any minute as soon as we can to uh, hopefully get a better idea of what just played out here. Again, a, a very wild scene uh, at the heart of the Portland State University campus. They uh, both arrested that man and then surround that vehicle. This is no longer live. Now, this is video that we got from Chopper 6 as the arrest was being made. As they approach that SUV, you can see that the driver is inside. Uh, this happened maybe 10 minutes ago. The driver is inside. You can see his hands are above his head right now as police surround that vehicle. Uh, you can tell uh, slightly from the shadows there that there does appear to be some front end damage to that SUV uh, and police are now taking care and making sure that they have this man in custody secured and they're taking him out of the SUV as we speak. Hey, uh, how are you Cuddy is getting arrested. All these cops for that one guy. What could he have possibly done? The guy from PSU.